let's understand what does share mean now as we saw earlier a company calls for money from its shareholders let's say this is the pool of money that the company has offered or the company requires actually okay let's say this was 10 million now if you go and ask someone to invest 10 million into your company he may say well I don't have it this is not a small amount Now, to overcome this situation, what happens is that a company divides the requirement that it has into small units. And these small units are called share. So instead of asking him for 10 million, what they say is, okay, we are dividing this 10 million into equal parts of rupees 10 each. This 10 is basically now called the nominal or the face value of shares. Okay. So this unit of rupees 10 is basically called a share. So we say that we have issued shares of rupees 10 each into the company okay so this is how basically the share is formed now a share basically is divided into two parts or they are classified into two parts one is the preference shares and the other one are the equity shares Now both the preference share and equity share have their own characteristics. This I will deal in a subsequent video as to what do you mean by preference share and what do you mean by equity share.